Right now I'm just sanding off all of the rust and it's coming off like so easily and it's looking really good. I'm so excited. You want to make sure that you get all the rust off before painting because then, I mean you see how easily it comes off so if you put paint over that then the paint's just gonna come off too. It's just on top of the rust. sanding this is you just kind of want to make sure that you get it so that it's not shiny. So you don't need to sand off all of the paint, but you kind of want it to just be kind of a dull um, finish instead of a shiny finish because that'll give something for the paint to grab onto. Alright, so now that you've sanded everything down, you just want to you're going to want to go over everything with a, a wet rag. Just try to get all of the um, dust off and get it nice and clean. Everything all masked up with masking tape and newspaper. Um, you got to be really careful because with spray paint, overspray can like get everywhere. So you really need to cover it really good and the parts that you do not want paint on. Especially with an old piece like this, it'd be really sad to get paint on the wood or on the parts that you don't want to cover up because they're beautiful and old and wear and um, so I tried to keep a lot of that I just I think I'm not even gonna paint the entire seat because I like the little bits of rust on there and the wood and little scratches and stuff just really shows the history of the piece for my primer that I'm gonna use I have this rust-oleum bonding primer bonds to any surface so hopefully this will work really good in helping the paint stick um, now I'm torn as to whether I should paint this metal part or not because it's so pretty. <sighs> but I think it'll look better if I just paint the whole thing. But it's really pretty. It's kind of sad. It'll be okay. got the whole thing primed and it says to let the primer dry for like 30 minutes um, and then do another coat so okay guys so this is what it looks like now after it's all been painted and now I'm going to start working on the top store and it's nice because one side's already chalkboard and then the other side's a grease board but the only problem is that it's not the right color and so I got this green contact paper I'm gonna put the green contact paper over the black side's chalkboard 